Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to filter your Microsoft Access form data to search for records quickly and easily. Today's question comes from Lewis from Cheektowaga, New York, my old stomping grounds, a gold member. Lewis says, I've got a few thousand customers on my customer table. I need to be able to quickly and easily filter this list, and I don't want to make a bunch of queries because my needs change from moment to moment. One time it might be customers from New York with a $1,000 credit limit. Another time it might be anyone from the 716 area code with the last name Smith. What do you recommend? Well, Lewis, you could make some queries with some query criteria. I've got other videos on that. I'll put a link down in the description below. But it sounds to me like you really just need to get a good grasp on how to use filtering in either your customer table directly if it's just you or in your customer list form if you've got other people that are going to be using it as well. So let me show you some techniques on filtering in your tables, queries, or in your forms directly. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free download off my website. You can go grab a copy if you want. I'll put a link down below in the description. Now, filtering is something you can do at the table level, but I generally tell people don't work directly with your tables. Especially if you have other people using your database, you don't want people poking around inside your tables. Now, if you go up here on the Home tab, you'll see this section here called Filtering. Okay? If you want to filter, let's say, by state, by New York, come over here, click on the state, click on the state that you want, like New York right there, hit the Filter button, you'll see this thing appears. You can do the sorting in here, A to Z, Z to A. You can sort by a specific state. For example, if you want all of them, it's right now, it's select all. You can turn that off and say, just give me New York. Now when I hit OK, there's New York. And you can see this little guy pops up there telling you that it's filtered state equals New York. All right, click that button again, and it opens up the filter window again. All right, if you want to see New York and Florida, and that can be a whole lot quicker than building a query, especially if your needs change from time to time. All right, drop it down again, go to select all. Want to see just the blanks? Click on blanks, and you'll see anybody who doesn't have a state. All right, or the state is null, we like to say. Okay, there's text filters here. Let me open that up for you. And this has a bunch of options in here. For example, equals, does not equal, begins with. This actually is easier and makes more sense if I show you with a name. Let me show you with a name, like here, Picard. Let me turn this filter off, first of all. Drop this down, go back to select all. That effectively turns off the filter. There's also an option down here in the bottom. Right now it says no filter. If I put a filter on, let's say city. If I filter, let's say I want to see anybody but Buffalo and Fort Myers, right? There you go. Now you see how it says filtered down here? All right, you can turn that off right there. And now it's unfiltered. But let's say I want to see anybody from the Amicron.com domain, right? Select Amicron.com, just like that. Okay, right-click on it and go down to contains Amicron.com or even ends with Amicron.com. See that? And there's another filter for you. All right. Click this, go to text filters, there's a whole bunch of them in here. Equals, does not equal, begins with, does not begin with, contains, does not contain, ends with, or does not end with. See all those different types that are in there? All right, you want uh, last names beginning with the letter R, right? Right click, begins with R. See that? And then I'll turn that filter off. Now, numbers and dates are treated differently as well. If you come over here to the number fields, let's say, uh, let's say this credit limit is a number. Currency and number values get treated pretty much the same. Okay, so drop this down for credit limit. Go to number filters. You got equals, does not equal, less than, greater than, and between. All right, between's a handy one. You could say between two values. Let's say 2,000 and 4,000. And this is inclusive, by the way, so it'll, it'll include the endpoints. Hit OK, and there's your 4,000. OK, see that? Turn it off. Same thing pretty much with dates. Here's dates right there. For dates, there's a whole bunch of options. Go to date filters. Look at all these. You got equals, does not equal, before, after, between, tomorrow, today, yesterday, next week, this week. <laughs> you got all kinds of stuff in here. Look at they go on. 
right? Past, future, last year, this year, all dates in period. You get even more options, right? Months, quarters, all this stuff, okay? Now, again, these filters work in your tables, and they also work in your forms, too. You can open up a form like this, all right? Pick a field like that, right-click on it, and then you got your filters down here. All right, equals Florida, does not equal Florida. Text filters over here, contains, does not contain, all the same stuff. Okay. Again, if it's just you, you can go ahead and use the table. If you have other people working with your database, again, I strongly suggest you limit them to just forms. Now, my Access Beginner 1 class, I have a whole lesson here on sorting and filtering. This is absolutely free, this whole class. Three hours long, it's on my website, it's on my YouTube channel. Watch this, it goes over sorting and filtering, entering data, all this different stuff. Okay, and I cover filtering in there, just like I showed you just now. Want to learn more about filters? Well, in the extended cut, 30 minutes long for the members, I show you how to make a little combo box on your customer list form that has all of the popular filters that you like. Maybe you've got credit limit over 1,000, customer before the year 2000, whatever. Then we'll make it so you can include a blank in there. What's the blank? Well, whatever you type in this box over here. So last name includes, right? Or first name starts with J, credit limit is less than blank. Put the blank in here, hit the filter button, and it applies that filter. Then we go another step further and we say, you know, we can apply filters up here with the right click like I showed you in this video, right? Right click, maybe, you know, state of Florida, credit limit over a thousand, whatever. Once you've got that set up, I want to now save that to this box. So that's what that save filter button does. You say, set up the filter however you want it, hit save filter, and it saves it in that combo box so you can use it in the future. So anytime you come up with something cool, save it in the box. That's all covered in the extended cut for members, 30 minutes long. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. Gold members and up can download this video, or download, yeah, download the video. You can download the template of the database that I built from my website. So no typing. That's all covered in the extended cut. And you get access to all of my previous extended cut videos. There's, there's I think, over 100 of them now. We have over 100 tech help videos. I think we're over 100 extended cuts. I'm not sure. It's getting close. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free Access Beginner Level 1 course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.